Hey everyone, I'm Sag with PNY Technologies. Today, we wanted to do a high-end NVIDIA product comparison. The NVIDIA RTX platform is the most advanced visual computing platform available for professional customers. We need to discuss memory when evaluating the RTX 84500 and RTX 85500 boards. Professional workflows consist of running multiple applications, each requiring graphics, compute, and memory from the GPU. Here we see some common use cases for GPU memory, such as 3D model data, simulation data, or rendered images. We also need to factor in other consumers of GPU resources, such as multiple high-resolution 4K displays, the graphics shader programs that actually color the pixels for graphic programs, as well as neural networks used by AI augmented applications. It's important not only to consider what GPU memory is needed for today's workflow, but for 12 months from now, 24 months from now, for as long as the workstation will be in service. Moving up to the RTX 84500 with 20 gigabytes of GPU memory, expandable to 40 gigabytes with NVLink, or the RTX 85500 with 24 gigabytes, expandable to 48 gigabytes with NVLink, provides for today's memory intensive applications while future-proofing your system for the GPU demands of tomorrow. GPU accelerated applications rely on data being in GPU memory for maximum performance. Insufficient GPU can cause applications to revert to slower paths or fail. Plugins, productivity, applications, or other tools can add to demands of GPU memory. Display data needs to be in GPU memory too. Multiple high-resolution displays, high-resolution HMDs, will add to memory consumption. Model size continues to grow. Use of materials, photoreal models, overall complexity means more GPU memory. With sufficient GPU memory, you get good performance, smooth interactions with models and data, and the system feels more responsive. If we run out of GPU memory, we must store data that can't fit into the GPU memory into system memory. This means the GPU must send the data to the CPU, which then stores the data into system memory. When the GPU needs the data, it will have to request it from the CPU, which then retrieves the data from the system memory and transfers it to the GPU. The data connection between system memory and the CPU is quite a bit slower than the data connection between the GPU and GPU memory. Data transfers between the GPU and CPU use the system PCIe bus, which is a slower connection. So how much GPU memory do you need? Well, it's all about workflow running multiple applications with large high-resolution data across multiple high-resolution displays will require more GPU memory. For GPU-accelerated rendering tasks, let's focus on the RTX 84500 with additional RT cores, more GPU memory, and memory bandwidth, which provides faster rendering performance. Here we see the performance of the RTX 84500 compared to the RTX 84000 for several of the more popular third-party rendering applications. On average, the RTX 84500 performs 28% faster than the RTX 84000. The same holds true for AI-centric workflows utilizing the RTX 84500. The additional tensor cores enable the RTX 84500 to provide better AI training and inferencing performance than the RTX 84000. The larger GPU memory the RTX 84500 provides enables higher levels of training performance for larger dataset training for networks like natural language processing. This was just a quick overview of the importance of GPU memory in regards to professional workflows. In our next video, we'll be going over some AI training workflow examples, demonstrating the power and time-saving benefits that NVIDIA RTX 84500 and NVIDIA RTX 85500 can bring to your business. For additional information, you can contact us at gopny at pny.com. And remember, for everything NVIDIA related, you can follow PNY on social media. We're always posting new updates for NVIDIA's product line. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.